Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and in today's Linux OS review, we are looking at Solid K. Now, if you're not familiar with this distribution, this is a Debian-based distribution running the KDE desktop. So let me drag over their homepage here, and we'll take a look at it here. And as you can see right here, it says Solid XK is an open source operating system for small business Nonprofit organization and home user Solid XK focuses on stability, security, and ease of use and will help new users make the transition from Windows to Linux easier. So, what we are looking at is Solid K, which looking at these two distributions listed here is one over on this side right here. Solid K is the Debian based distribution running KDE desktop, and we are running KDE Series 4, not the newer. Uh, Plasma 5. So, uh, it's been around longer. It is very stable. Um, and, you know, I've been playing around with this for about a week or so now. Really, really like this desktop. Uh, also, from the same developers, we also have Solid X, which is Debian based, but running the XFCE desktop. So, it's intended to be the lighter weight version. Of these uh, of these distributions now a little bit of history uh, the developers who who created solid X and solid K they uh, they were they were um, big fans of Linux mint Debian and I'm not quite sure whether they were on the uh, they were actually developers for Linux mint Debian or uh, uh, you know just big fans of it but anyway wanted to see a KDE version of, of Linux Mint Debian and you know kind of that's how the project originally got started and then also when uh, uh, Linux Mint decided that they weren't going to do an XFCE desktop for Linux Mint Debian uh, hence you get that's when you get Solid X so that's kind of the a little bit of the background behind it and uh, you know, in some ways, it's kind of good that the that the um, project didn't become part of Linux Mint Debian. At least in my opinion, uh, and you know, others may feel a little differently. But to me, the um, uh, the 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 Debian edition has always been almost like the the stepchild of Linux Mint. It's like, yeah, you know, the cinnamon stays nice and updated and whatnot, but it just doesn't seem like they spend as much time on the development of the Debian versions as opposed to uh, the Ubuntu-based distros. So, anyway, having said that, um, I've been playing around with uh, with Solid K for a while. Really, really like it. So, uh, let's uh, let me go and close this up, and we'll get started with taking a look at our desktop. So let's start with a quick run through of our desktop layout. We've got a single panel across the bottom. Over on the left hand side, we have the standard KDE menu. I'll completely categorized. Now, if you want to go old school menu, I believe you can right, yeah, you can right click and go to switch to classical, classic menu style. And then you get this style of menu. Definitely much more compact. Um, Personally, I like the other menu just from the standpoint that, uh, let me go and switch it there. Uh, just from the standpoint, I like the search function. And, uh, uh, you know, it's KDE, so you can go and add some of the other launchers or one of the other launchers. There's the kicker menu and all that, but, uh, you know, that's what's installed by default. We've got this little desktop button right here, which will collapse all of the open windows. So let me go and click that. You see everything goes and collapses. Click it again. Everything opens back up. And then right next to that, we have a quick launch for Dolphin, our file manager, uh, which Dolphin is quite probably the best uh, default file manager out there for, for any Linux desktop. And next to that, we have all of our, a list of all of our open windows. And then over on the um, over on the right hand side, we've got the indicator from our screen recorder. We've got our clipboard manager, Bluetooth manager, audio management, and then our tray area, the internet connection, that sort of thing. And then we've got our time slash date 
uh, slash calendar. And that's, you know, that's essentially the layout here. And, you know, you can see, um, you know, right here in Dolphin, the kind of uh, window decorations, icons, and all that kind of stuff. I, I really like the theming that they've got going on here. Um, you know, it's nice, clean, nothing complicated. Um, the colors blend. Uh, you know, it's just really, really nice looking. Software management tools with this distribution were... Uh, unsurprisingly borrowed from the from Linux Mint. So let me go and open up our software manager. And for those of you that are familiar with Linux Mint, you know, you will recognize Software Manager. Uh, it's essentially the Linux Mint Software Manager and um, nice and easy to work with. Um, you know, let's just, let, uh, let's just, let, we'll install Opera here. Double click on whatever it is you want to install, click the install button, and boom, let it do its thing. And one of the things that I really like about the, uh, the, the Linux Mint software manager has always been that you know say you've got five six seven things that you need to install you can go and set up the first thing to install go and select the next thing get it installing and you know you can load up that that queue and it's not going to crash and burn on you uh, the same cannot be said of the Ubuntu software center and some other software management uh, tools out there um, I've never had it crash and burn on me, so a uh, real nice tool. So we've got that. You also have Synaptic Package Manager. So if you're a fan of Synaptic, it's available for you. You can use that. Personally, I'm a Synaptic fan, uh, but the, the, the Mint Software Manager, uh, it's a nice tool in its own right. Um, the, uh, the Update Manager, same one that you see in, uh, let me go and pull that up. Uh, it, it's also the tool from Linux Mint. All right, that's installed. I'll close it up. And uh, once again, if, you, if you're familiar with Linux Mint, you're going to recognize this tool here. Um, uh, once again, very nice tool. It's simple, easy to use. You know, you fire up the update manager, boom, it runs through the repositories, start reading the package list. And boom, tells you right now, you know, my system's up to date. I did an update earlier today. So, uh, but, you know, very, very easy to use. Something I wanted to mention while we're on the subject of installing and updating software, and that is that Solid K is, well, and also Solid X, they are both rolling release uh, distributions. Now, if you're not familiar with what that means, a rolling release you you constantly get updates there is no upgrading to the next version so uh, you know in the case of like Ubuntu Ubuntu is not a rolling release model so um, right now the latest version of Ubuntu is 15.10 the Ubuntu 16.04 will be coming out in April when that comes down the pike then you can upgrade to 16.04 if you like Whereas, you know, like I said, a rolling release model, the, the, the updates, they just continue to roll down the pike. Now, my understanding of, of uh, Solid XK is they do roughly like a quarterly core update. And then for like security updates, applications, that sort of thing, they those roll down the pike more frequently, I guess, essentially as as they're tested and, and deemed stable and whatnot. So there's a lot of reasons why you might want to go with a rolling release model. In in my case, um, you know, I could see using something like this for putting on not not necessarily my computer, but for all of the family members in this household that I maintain their computers for them. You know, my kids, my wife, you know, 
I'm always the person that's got to do the updates. I uh, when upgrading to the next version of Ubuntu, I've got to do the upgrade, that sort of thing. So something like this, this would be really nice for me, just because uh, you know I hit the update button and there's no um, you know new uh, new upgraded version oh gee i hope that the uh, the upgrade doesn't crash do i need to do a fresh install um, as opposed to just an upgrade that sort of thing so for somebody you know like me that's got to maintain several other people's computers this uh, this kind of uh, upgrade model is a godsend plenty of software installed by default now i'm not going to go through everything just because let me go and you know taking a look at the list here it's there there's a lot a lot of software installed by default so i'm not going to go through it all by one by one but i just want to point out you know for most people they've got the bases covered you're probably not going to have to install anything maybe one or two things here or there uh you know especially if there's something special you need to do but you know all of the core basics that you would look for in software it's all here you know you've got LibreOffice, the entire LibreOffice suite for for your office needs uh, thunderbird and firefox for internet and email and you know, those of you that have used uh, Debian distributions in the past, you, know, you probably you probably know most of the time you get uh, Ice Dove and Ice Weasel as opposed to Firefox and Thunderbird. Not in this case. Uh, you have you know the quote unquote real Firefox and Thunderbird, uh, not the the rebranded and slightly different. Ice Dove and Ice Weasel that you normally see in Debian distributions. So you got that. You've got uh, you know all of the normal KDE utilities. You know you've got the the Dolphin File Manager, um, K3B for the disk burning. Um, you know the the KDE clipboard management. All of those normal utilities that you normally see with a KDE distribution. Rock solid stability has been the goal of the solid XK team, and they knocked it out of the park with this distribution. I've got to say, everything that I've done here, uh, there have been zero issues. Installation went down without a hitch. Uh, I have had no crashes and burns, no glitches, nothing freezing up on me. Everything has just worked right out of the box. Um, and you know part of that probably is that you know they are not using you know the latest KDE you know they are using the most stable that they can get their hands on um, and and you know what uh, while I'm the kind of person that I really like to play around with the latest tools the latest applications the latest update all that kind of stuff there is something to be said about having a distribution where everything is rock solid stable and you can just sit down and get your work done and and I think that's where 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 solid k really really shines is that you can get this distribution you can install it on your computer 15 minutes later not only is it up and running everything is updated and you don't have to worry about anything not working it just all works right out of the box so you know two thumbs up on that and uh, you know i i wish more distributions uh would you know could do that so having used this distribution for about a week now I've got to say that I really really like it um, and I'm really considering using this as as my daily driver um, just you know the the stability the you know I know that when I sit down at the computer everything is going to work everything is going to work the way that it should there will be no glitches no errors no you know everything will be rock solid stable you know uh, from a productivity standpoint uh you really can't beat a distribution like that um so i'm kind of i'm kind of leaning towards going with this as my uh, as what will be my my daily driver you know i uh, at any one given time i've got three four five 
even more distributions on my computer just because I'm playing around testing and all that kind of thing but for the distribution that I'm going to do the majority of my work on this this may be it um, but on that note I think this about finishes the review up as always leave comments questions all that kind of stuff down below and I will try to get to them as soon as possible I'll also leave a link for the solid XK website down below so if you want to go and give this distribution a test drive you can go and download it and and, and if you do try it out let me know what you thought of it uh, as always thanks a lot and I hope to see you all on the next video